I'm going to do a video tutorial on putting conga heads on the old fashioned way. Um, I ordered some set of skins from Manito Percussion. And uh, I'm going to put the drum head to soak in some lukewarm water. Come back to it in a few hours and check on it. Twenty minutes, and the skin opens up nicely now. I mean, it's still curled up, but it's opening up. So we'll let it keep soaking. And actually, you just you know, it doesn't. It'll move right now, but it's not nearly where it needs to be for um, putting it on the drum. As long as it's curled like that, you know it's definitely not ready. Okay, I'm gonna start putting on this drum head. It's been soaking for about two hours, actually. It's nice and pliable, as you can see. This one's uh, from Manito Percussion. So, uh, yeah. Let's get going on this. So right now all I really want to do is kind of center the ring a little bit on the drum and you can kind of see where the rim is here. So what we're going to do is end up folding this over and then put the rim over it. It's kind of gross actually. There's still some... Anyways. It's hide. <laughs> so, anyways, here we go. Let me find my logo. It's here. It's like lining everything up here. All right, so I'll start putting that over. I'm gonna put a towel here because I'm gonna use some vice grips here. grab on so I don't lose that position. All I'm gonna do is start pulling this drum head through. This is actually a lot easier than the bongo head I put on. The other night, it's so thick, and I think I didn't let that bongo head soak nearly as long as, as I did this one. Um, I mentioned earlier that um, I soaked my other head for the quinto for seven hours, but I was kind of up late at night, so I went to went to bed and I. Uh, I'm going to give it a lot longer. This one actually only um, soaked for about three hours. No. A little over two hours. I started at 10. A little bit before 10. So, just pushing down on it here. I'm going to line some things up here. Line the lugs up where I think I want them. I don't really need this to hold on anymore. I did use it on the last one, I guess it wasn't really necessary. This head is so pliable. So, I'm going to back these out quite a bit.
checking out the screws quite a bit so I have as much room to work with as possible. Alright, so I got two sides hooked there and there and I didn't use much but my my body weight to, to do that so um, from here on out it shouldn't be too tough I know there's a lot of videos out there and they all kind of warn you but give yourself some room to work with. I think the most important thing in my case is with this is that I let the skin soak long enough. And once you get two opposite lugs connected, the other ones seem to connect pretty easily. I'm not a very big dude, I'm about 5'6", 180 pounds or so, so I don't have to be shredded to put these on. So there it is, I got it hooked um, on all sides. So now what I'm going to do is pull the head through so that there's no wrinkles at the bottom no. under the rim so I'll show you you don't want there to be any wrinkles under there so so that should look pretty uniform underneath which that does methods of doing this I'm just going around in a circle. I guess I could probably go star pattern like you tuna a drum. But really this is probably the most difficult part for most people is to get the heads mounted on that rim which I already did and couple minutes really so um, I guess some methods of doing this you could just leave it loose the way I had it um, I don't know I'm just putting a little bit of trying to get as much slack as possible on there um, when you pull up on it You can feel it move, so. Anyways, so it feels nice and secure down here. So, I like straight razors. 
And so that's what I'm going to use to uh, take this excess skin off. I already did it on one drum. Well, what I want you to notice is that this is curved up here. So this part is not going to cut the, the drum head at all. It's this part that's going to cut. So when I put this in there, this is resting against the part that I don't want to cut. This part is cutting. So um, so make cut. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut at a slight angle down below the rim. But this edge is resting on, I don't necessarily want to touch it, but if it does, I'm not going to hurt anything because this isn't sharp right here. This is the cutting edge right there. So, come over here. And while I angle down, I'm going to pull on the skin and pull my blade towards me. And as you see, this blade cuts super fast. I tried my disposable razor and it was worse than this so my actual carbon steel razor did the trick beautifully so hey buddy watch out you're in the I'm, camera I'm just watching This method is so fast. Dad, are you going to put this on YouTube? Maybe. Why don't you get me and Tom if you put this on YouTube? Hey, I'm on video. Why don't you Pretty fast. I'm pretty happy with this method. This is my technically third time ever doing this, but I just got this experience in the last two days, so nothing to go home and brag about. Ta da! And Dog treats. And so there's the drum, folks.